Hello. Uh, this is going to be kind of a short update. Um, we took a bit of damage during the hurricane. So this weekend is going to be a lot of cleaning up around the house and uh, fixing the roof. But let me show you what I did last week. So the first thing you see, this is the design that got the most votes. I want to thank everybody who voted. Now let me show you what it looks like on the cart. I want to show you I've, uh, where I've mounted the skull. We've continued the blood drip down the side boards and we're not going to continue it to the back of the backboard i mean the back back of the front board the front board is going to have a jack-o-lantern on it i have not yet decided how i'm going to mount the pumpkin uh, but what we're likely to do is to have some flickering light inside so that it looks like it's lit and like the other cart I still have a access hole to get to the batteries well that's about what it'll look like almost done just need to put the floorboards and some back bracing on the uh, skull and mount the mount the control buttons something else I've added in case I need to get to programming uh, little access for USB port plug into the speed control there and make any changes I need but otherwise is a fully functioning cart. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but on the old cart, I've built a coffin box to hide the wiring on the back. And up on the top, I've got the speed control, the stop and go buttons. Uh, there's a battery meter that tells me the level of the drive battery. And then the emergency uh, all stop button. Kills power to everything. And to access things, there's the bracing and the wiring that I still need to do on the back of the new cart. I'm not gonna be uh, building a coffin on this one. I think what I will do is use a felt skull to uh, just cover up the wiring and I'll have a ledge for the controls. Thanks for watching.